So under hit dot rigid body, you want if open bracket hit particles. Close bracket, open curly brace, put your curly brace closing down here. We're going to say <coughs> hit particle dot transform dot position is equals to hit point. So basically what it does is right now is our particle's position is equal to our hit points which is the very end of the ray and as soon as that collides with something now we're going to enable it. So hit particles dot transform dot local rotation is going to be equals to a quaternion dot from to rotation open bracket back to free dot forward so we're facing the forward direction z and comma hit dot normal and uh, let's emit it now so hit particle dot emit now this time you want to select the emit with the capital E and the purple box and then hit enter open bracket close bracket and close that save it okay let's go back in unity and test that out uh, I think it's updated let me just double check save it again okay it is uh, click on your shoot point with the scripts attached and make sure the particles attached which mines are and run the game you will notice straight away that the particles disappear because remember, remember I said that it will um, deactivate them and this time if I shoot one of these objects spark will fly out like so okay so we've got that done now I'm going to start applying the bullets so it starts minusing them bullets left minus minus and then we're going to say if bullets is less than zero We want bullets to be equals to zero. If open bracket bullets equals equals zero open bracket, then we're gonna call our reload function. Okay, now the reload is something we're gonna start doing now because really important now normally like I said in Java we just put the following but that won't work in C sharp so what we need to do is we need to create our I enumerator so I enumerator and we're going to give this the name of reload reload speed open bracket close bracket a curly brace close bracket and in here we're gonna say yield return new now you can see this difference as well and then wait for a second and then wait for seconds the time is gonna be our reload time And then we're gonna start checking our clips. If open bracket clips is greater than zero, so if we have clips available, we can reload. If we don't, we won't. Bullets left equals bullets per clip. So 
save that. Now we've created the enumerator. We want to call this in our reload. So to do that, we're going to say start coroutine open bracket and your I enumerator name reload speed open bracket close bracket close bracket now that's calling the reload and we've got to check if this works but before we do let's add animations and sounds so we know it's working perfectly so in your void play reload you want audio dot play one shot open bracket and reload sound reload um, yeah reload sound close that you want to copy this one and paste it in the play shoot and instead of reload sound you want to put shoot sound save that and before our yield we're going to say play reload audio we're calling that function open bracket close bracket and in our update we're going to say play shoot audio open bracket close bracket now that calls a fire fire sound and the animation time so game object dot find open bracket the name of your animation uh, your object that contains animation and since the name is so long on my my gun I'm just gonna take it from out here and paste it in here and clips does not exist it's clip sorry close that bracket dot animation dot play and the name of the animation and mine's called reload now I want to copy this the animation line and I want to place this on the very top of where I cost hit and I'm just going to change the animation name and call it shoot save back into unity is that the update and this time I'm just gonna quickly click on the main player and set his bullets as one so we can see if it works bullets per clip is 60 at the moment put it as one when it starts okay but you see okay it takes 3.3 .3 seconds and we can shoot but the problem is if there was a less timer and we hold the F key in we can still shoot so let's stop that so if there's no bullets in our clip we don't want the player to be able to shoot so we go to our if statement which controls the input and here you want to put an and bullets left must be greater than zero now that's the difference as well in C sharp. In JavaScript, I just had an and bullets left, so it knows if it's zero, we can't use it. But in C sharp, you have to tell it it has to be greater than zero. That's the only time we can shoot. Okay, we've got that sorted, and we're nearly done actually. I just got the muzzle flash to do, and that's it, and the timer actually. So let's get the shoot timer out of the way first. If open bracket shoot timer is greater than zero, open bracket, um, close bracket, sorry, open curly brace, close curly brace, shoot timer is 
is going to be minus equals time dot delta time. Okay, and next one we want is if open bracket shoot timer is less than zero. In some cases that happens, believe me. We want shoot timer to equal zero. Save. Now we're going to say we only can shoot. Well, actually, let me show you what happens. And I'm just going to set the bullets back to seven, so something reasonable in the sound. If we don't have that shoot timer, the audio is going to overlap and it's going to sound really strange. And that 0 0.9 second gives the audio to cool down so it doesn't overlap itself. Oh, I've enabled the wrong script, sorry. I'm going to enable the C sharp one. There we go. I'm just going to apply the objects again. Mother flash, head particle, uh, reload sound, fire, shoot sound, oh, uh, sorry, fire, and reload sound is reload. And the lights quickly apply those back. I did not notice that I was using the wrong script. I was using this uh, JavaScript version, which is already completed, and I just noticed that now. Light one is equal to one. Light two is equal to two. Light three is equal to three. Save. Uh, made sure my JavaScript turned off. Okay. Now run it. Let's see what happens. Okay. So let's just check if the hit particle still works because that was the wrong script. Okay, that works fine. There we go. Listen to the audio. Now, if we don't have shoot cooler there, it doesn't give it that second to cool down, so we need it here. So if open bracket shoot cooler sorry shoot timer is equals equals to zero then we can play the audio and then we can shoot else don't do nothing save it now let's create the muzzle flash now before we do create this we need to start making the timer for the muzzle flash as well